Homelessness is a journey, and not one people normally choose to take. Every person experiencing homelessness has a story about how they became homeless and the different struggles they faced on their journey out of homelessness. One of the goals of this documentary series is to record some of those stories of people and their journeys through homelessness. Um, I, I guess I did, I can say that before I was homeless that I was um, somebody that didn't worry about that. I always had a good job and I was able to take care of myself and I never had to worry about like my safety or you know, like literally getting food for the day. And when I saw a homeless person, I didn't, I felt like I didn't know, I felt like, you know, number one, that maybe that their choices led to that. Or I never, I never really understood or um, could relate to how they became homeless. And um, now that I've been there, I would say that if you can just imagine them, um, there, there being a similarity between you and them in some way. Um, and then just thinking about what it would feel like for you to not have, that um, it's really something else to have somewhere you can go and that you know you can sleep at night. I mean, that really does make a difference in your mental health. Well, you cha your whole mindset changes into um, a daily survival. So you worry about where, what you're going to eat. Um, and in my case, I had two dogs, so I couldn't just go to shelters. So where you're going to sleep, your safety is a concern, which that was never a concern of mine before. Um, and also relying on other people. And then that's incredibly challenging um, to be able to trust other people. Um, one thing I encountered was um, people were stealing, they would steal from me and I'm not used to having to, you know, decipher between people that I can trust and not trust. If they present themselves in a way that I, you know, I believe I can trust them and then I would turn my back and everything would be gone. So that's one of the, the most challenging parts about being homeless and um, being on your own and a woman, you know, your safety and um, where you're gonna sleep at night is really scary. So you, your, your mindset changes. I mean, I never saw that coming. I, I come from a you know, great education and um, a good, you know, great mother who was educated. And so I never saw that. I ne never could foresee any of that. It can happen to anyone, you know. Um, I went to Berkeley straight out of high school. I um, um, had a 3.4 GPA, but I was able to get in. And I did Native American studies at first and I ended up changing my major to peace and conflict studies. I graduated in 2005. I had a high GPA, I was one of the, um, in an honors program there and I worked my whole way through and I loved it and that changed my life and I'm really grateful that that's an amazing experience that not everybody gets to do. I would tell somebody on the street um, that there is help out there and there are resources and I know it's hard to go out and you know that energy and that to go look for those resources but it's worth it and that they're worth it and that it's not always going to be this bad, it's going to get better and don't lose hope. You know, and don't be afraid to ask for help because there are people out there that want to help you. That's what I would say. Uh, my name is Loretta Greycloud. Um, I am a um, working with Change Point Northwest Housing now and, um, and other organizations and doing grants and finding funding. Um, I'm passionate about helping people and um, helping specifically homeless people. And um, I'm an excellent writer and I'm passionate about life and I hope to uh, make a change in the world. My name is Tyler Burnett and I'm a resident at Union Gospel Mission. So uh, I was born and raised in Spokane and uh, everything was well until later on in my life, in my teenage years, I started uh, using, getting heavy into drugs and it kind of led me down the wrong path and I ended up out on the streets for about four years until I found the Union Gospel Mission. I was at rock bottom, I had nothing left and I had no, no support around me or anything, and that was my point where I just said, I can't do this anymore. I need to get out of this. It was really hard. You always have to be watching your back because someone's always trying to take what you have or kind of just like put you in a lower place than you already are. You gotta fight every day to eat and you know just make it, find somewhere to stay. And, I, I didn't, honestly. I thought I was just kind of doomed. A lot of the times I would uh, stay in like uh, like those blue recycling can things. I would stay in there or I would kind of like get a tarp and like pitch a tent and stuff like that. But it was always like really cold and I just, I had nowhere to go. I had lost 
everything that I had. I remember I had just like a small backpack and I had a, had a few clothes items in there and I think it got stolen and all I had was what I had on me and it was horrible because I've been in those clothes for probably about three weeks without a shower or anything like that. And I just thought, <clears throat> this is it, you can't do this anymore. You can't keep suffering, you gotta go get your life back under control and figure it out. I actually was down on Argonne and they have a church across the street called Victory Faith. And I went in there, they were having a service going on and I was trying to see if they knew any resources where I could stay and stuff like that. And I met this pastor and he started telling me about the UGM and how uh, one, of the, one of their friends that went to the church ended up going there and that he had his life back under control. So he was nice enough to give me a ride there and I stayed there overnight and I've been there since. I remember my first day at UGM and I was, I felt very scared and alone. I didn't know what was gonna happen next. Uh, but the longer I stayed there, the more it started to grow on me. I really got involved and all the people there are so nice and they treat you like family. And they are my family. Uh, I've been at the Union Gospel Mission for about seven months and I quit using drugs. I kind of changed myself around. I uh, actually got promoted to housekeeping supervisor there. So it just goes to show you hard work really does pay off. I'm happy now. That's my word I would pick, happy, that I'm moving forward and regaining control of my life. And I'm starting to live life now. That's what I'm doing.